I bet you do. Five o'clock, it's going to rain again. I bet you do like eating catfish. I do. I love the fish, bro. Hey! Hey! Happy Fun Day Friday, everybody. You made it through the week. Cheers. We've got a heck of an episode for you. Man, all the kitties going back to school. Yeah, dude. All the all, all about appetizers, really. Football let's, started back. Let's get it. Man, it's go Greenbrier be... football. Woo! I'm excited. Friday night lights, baby. Man, you are oh, excited today. I am. I am. We won crackers. our last game, bro. I'm so I'm so pumped about this. Shout season. out. Shout out, Greenbrier. Let's go. Hey, if you haven't checked out the website, make sure you go to rectech.com. We've got some amazing sales and specials. Two hundred and fifty dollar e card. Yeah. Off of sele on Select Grills, you will get one of those bad boys yeah. if you buy Select Grills mm -hmm. or Grill Bundles. That's right. That's Check it out. Right. Hey, we got a heck of an episode. Make sure you stay tuned. It's Fun Day Friday, everybody. All right, again, it's all about the new apps. These are brand new apps. What you got going on, Chef John? Uh, so I'm going to be doing a melted pizza dip, Jody. It's going to be absolutely perfect for this next tailgating back to school season. Very cool. Yes, sir. Greg, what you got going on? I'm going to marry two of my very favorite things, roasted corn and guacamole. Mm. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Hey, guys, let me know what, where you're watching from. Put it in the comment section down below. I'm going to be hitting up good questions in the comments. But kick it off, Chef Greg. All right, so we've got some ears of corn here. We went with that whole bicolor thing to make it a little bit more colorful. We're gonna take that Rectech Mr. Bottle. I've got this loaded up with some olive oil. Okay, we're gonna mist this a little bit, okay? You don't need a lot here. A little heifer dust over the top. We have the RTB 380X Bullseye fired up to 600 degrees with the Ultimate Blend Pellet. And the coolest part about that grill, that direct fire, is we're gonna char this corn, right? So unlike the other guys, right? Direct fire, 600 degrees, mesquite pellets, we can go hotter if we wanted to, we just don't need to, okay? We're gonna get this on there and get a good char on here. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. But what makes gonna... the B380X unique in this situation, Greg? Well, it is direct fire. So there's nothing but, you know, but one metal, piece of metal between the meat and the heat on this corn, gonna give us good char. Now, obviously corn's not fatty. It's not gonna be dripping, you know, uh, like ribeye juices on that heat deflector to give me some flavorful flare ups, but it's gonna give us some amazing flavor and again, direct fire technology is going to give us good char, and that caramelization on there is going to be fantastic. No other pillow grill on the market Ooh. does it. And uh, for me, it's the grill I use probably four or five nights a week at the house all the time. North Carolina, Tennessee, Ohio, uh, South Kakalaki, <laughs> California, Columbia, South Carolina. There you go. We're John Franklin's you. out there. That's What's right. up, Jim Seeley? All right, so I'm going to take some jalapenos here, okay? And I'm going to cut them up a little bit. Now, I don't mind a raw jalapeno. I don't think they're overly right. spicy, right? But if you want to tone it down a little bit, add a little bit more flavor, you could very easily throw these on the uh, the bullseye, char them up as well. I find that it kind of tones down the spice a little bit. Definitely. But for me, I like a spicy guac. Okay. So you could easily do a couple peppers, you know, raw, a couple peppers cooked. There's really no right or wrong way. I like that knife, Chef Greg. Well, you know what? I mean, this is available at rectech.com. Now, That's this right. is the perfect use of a paring knife. Right. Right. So if it's going to be that, those smaller, you know, uh, tasks and Absolutely. jobs. I know John likes it hot. We'll add a, yeah. we'll add a whole jalapeno Get it in, in there, there, Chef Greg. So this is a mortar and pestle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grind this up. Now, watch your eyes because you don't want to like. Right. You don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to get that jalapeno juice up in your eyeball. You don't. But this is your opportunity to kind of bring more flavor to the table. We're gonna add some heifer dust in here. Now, we're gonna sub out some of our lime juice with some of that Chef John soul powder because yeah. it's not just for wings, mm -mm. it's not just for fish. Nope. That hot honey and that Yum. citrus in there is gonna give us some great flavors. We we're see gonna, you, YouTube. We're gonna mash this up, okay, and start elevating the flavor. We're, and again, crushing all of those jalapenos, those spices, and you're gonna make like a paste, okay? Look at that. All Super on YouTube here. Uh, Savannah, Washington, Alabama, Pennsylvania, Fort Worth, Texas, Brandon, Mississippi, uh, Hudson Valley, New York here. There we go. That. Hudson Valley sent us some foie gras. All right, so I did take a chef cheat. We've got some garlic Yum. and uh, some pico de gallo we picked up from the grocery store. There's nothing wrong with that, people. Take a cheat when you need to. And I'm just going to kind of mash all of this stuff up in here. If you didn't have a mortar and pester, pester Chef Craig, what would you use? <laughs> I mean, you could use you could use uh, the back of a spoon in a stainless steel bowl, but we're going like authentic OG right here, Yeah. okay? Like this is how those restaurants charge you like $20 for tableside guac, 
because they're doing this. Yum. Right? That looks you delicious. Can do it too. It does look delicious. So on to the avocados. Now, I don't know about you guys. When I buy avocados, I buy five and, and like one is kind of funky. Right. How do you avoid that? It's real simple. Be prepared. So you go to the store and you're gonna kinda squeeze the avocados. You don't want them to be soft and mushy, just a little a little bounce to them. Yum. So what I do is if I don't make guac, like a couple days ahead of time. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and have my avocados. I don't know, vaccine with a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice, and that's gonna protect them. And then this is dual purpose. I love it. Right? Because now I can mash oh. the avocados in the bag. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. And get the consistency I'm looking for and be super easy. Okay? Maybe do avocado toast on the weekdays. Ooh, good, good call. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Gastonia, North Carolina. Hey, let us know your questions. Put them in the comment section, both on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. All right, so we're going to cut up this one avocado to show you. So take that paring knife, okay, and just kind of roll it around. Now, you want to be careful because these knives are sharp. That's okay. Sharp. And sharp. we are trained professionals. That's sharp. Now, this one has a little stone. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. So to get that out, we're going to take that knife and just kind of give it a little twist. Now, this one got a little... This, this one didn't yeah. cooperate. <laughs> ah. yeah. You can use the back of a spoon. Live and you can video. pop that out, just like that. Cool. Now chef we don't tip. Stab I love yourself. that chef tip. Oh, yeah, it. don't stab yourself in the hand. But again, speech, speaking of a chef tip, yeah. man, it would be a chef tip uh, to send them to rectech.com right now. <laughs> sure enough would. Again, if you purchase select grills or grill bunder, uh, bundles, bunders. you can get up to $250 in an e gift certificate. Uh, shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. Bro. All right. I like it. All right, so what else you got, Chef Greg? You don't have a mortar and pestle, so we'll just take a, we got a fork it, right? Okay. And I think I, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of the skin on there, but no worries, you take the fork and we'll rip it off. I love it. Yeah, so we'll take that that fork and you're just gonna mash it up, okay? Real okay. simple. But we already did that because we got it in the bag right here. So now I'm just gonna take this, bada bing, bada boom, mm -hmm. squeeze it out of the bag, okay? Take our toppings, and all we got to do is stir a little cilantro I see and the most there. amazing guacamole right here. Right, Why you stir, you Chef Greg? What do they need to do? You make sure you got to smash that share button, but we're going <laughs> to count it down with you because you know how we operate. It only takes three seconds. Three, two, two one, one, smash it! it. That a baby. Again, help us help you yeah, spread right. the, the love of the RecTech family. All, all right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick stir, chop hey, up some cilantro. Got a good question done. here. What would you do with 250 Ooh. E dollars to the RecTech store chefs? Ooh. Okay, I know what I would do right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy that brisket slicer. Okay. Yum. I'm gonna buy that chef's knife. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm gonna buy that paring knife and mm -hmm. I probably have enough left over for probably two injections. Okay. That's what That's I'm good. doing. That's yeah. good. I'm going to go you, ahead chef, and get all the injections, plus I'm going to get that, that kit that has the spatula in it. Nice. It has the tongs in it. Barbecue yeah. set. Love it's it. It's got everything that you need to get yourself going mm -hmm. and cook something delicious. That's yeah. a good one. Well, I'd be getting the disposable cut boards. Okay. Uh, I'd be getting the pan liners. Okay. Yep. I'd be getting, of course, all the knives. Uh, probably each flavor of pellets. <laughs> that would probably I'd be done after yeah, that. Yeah, you spread it out. You yeah. spread it, you're gonna spread it out. That's right. That's right. Everything. Definitely. But definitely it. the easy cleanup stuff. Definitely sure. the easy cleanup sure. stuff. All right, bring this pizza game home, man. I'm, I'm, okay. My, it's my like second favorite thing to eat. I love it. So this recipe is gonna be super easy. We're gonna be cooking it on the Road Warrior. I have it set Shoot to you. 375 degrees, and we're using the Rectech Mesquite pellets to give it some of that good color and flavor. All right, guys. And this one's gonna be super simple. So you're gonna need a cast iron skillet. Right? Okay. So we're going to be using this thing. When you're going to need some kind of mixer. Now, uh, I'm using a stand mixer. You could use an electric hand mixer if you'd like. Nice. Uh, but this is what we're using. So I have four eight ounce packages of cream, softened cream cheese already okay. in my mixer, right? So what we're going to do is. Fancy. Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to beat this up. Let this start to go around. Whoa. We're going to beat, beat it up. Beat it up. Uh, like it stole, uh, you, like it stole uh, your money. Well, you know it. Uh, to the cream cheese, we're going to go ahead and add some of that cold and freaking Greek, two tablespoons. And we're also going to be adding two tablespoons of the Chef Greg's four letter rub. Because I don't know where you guys get your cream cheese from, but mine does not come pre seasoned. Nor hey, they do have delicious. they do have some seasoned cream cheeses they, out there now, Chef Greg. They do, they do. Oh, you could totally use that jalapeno cream cheese in here. Yeah, or you could use that Borison cream cheese. Shout out Borison. I think <laughs> the strawberry would probably not be a great option. <laughs> Teresa Silcox said she would get a bunch of knives. Ohio, South it. Carolina, a bunch of Pennsylvanias, a bunch of Texases. Shout out, y'all. All right, so I've got some mozzarella and provolone. I have two cups. So I'm going to add one cup inside the cream cheese. I'm going to add Those. one cup 
of good, Parmesan man. cheese. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> I got half a block, so this was one pound of Velveeta. We're gonna throw that in there. I just sliced it up at a thick, just so that it would blend a whole lot easier. Hey, this is a really good question, and I'm actually gonna give this person a seasoning of uh -oh. their choice. Oh, there you go. Uh -oh. Shout out Lindsay Newton with a really, really good question. She, she said, uh, with the purchase of a Rectex smoke tube, where would you put it in the RT1250? Very good question, Lindsay. Lindsay, make sure you DM the Rectech Facebook page, and we'll make sure to get a seasoning of your choice headed out there to you for answering, for asking, asking. that question live on Facebook. All right, go That's ahead and answer question. for him, Jody. Oh, what, well, the question was, uh, where would you put it at? So I personally like to stand those smoke tubes up vertically mm -hmm. after I light them and then place them all the way in the back. Uh, that way they get uh, some of that airflow from the air gaps. Yep. Uh, you can pull, place them at the back or the front. Either way, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but the cool design of that mm -hmm. smoke tube that we have is you can actually light it uh, and set it vertically. A lot of the other smoke tubes, you can't do that because the bottom doesn't have the little, uh, the holes in the bottom of it. But very good question, Lindsay. Thank you so much question. for asking yeah. that. All right, so we got the cast iron skillet. We have our cheese, we'll call this our cheese spread because it's spreading so nice in this yeah. cast iron skillet, Jody. All right, so we're just gonna make this even all the way around the cast iron, right? Yes, sir. No problem here, super easy. This is gonna be something you guys could do with the kids too. Okay. Uh, Friday night lights before the football game. Yep. Go ahead, you could prep this before, leave it in the refrigerator and then just pop it into your grill and it will be perfect. Love that. All right, so perfectly even, right? We got that stage. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and take our pizza sauce. Yes, sir. Now you can make your own pizza sauce. I got a lot of people out there who are like, Chef John, you don't make your own sauce or you don't make your own pizza dough. Guys, I'm trying to help you guys out. That's right. If you have an amazing pizza uh, rest sauce recipe or pizza dough recipe, please send it to me. You can send it to me at chefjohn at rectech.com. <laughs> but we're tailgating. So you know what? Cheats and make it easy on yourself. Yeah. It, there's nothing wrong with that, right? So this was one jar. Okay. Uh, 32 ounces of pizza sauce. Okay. Right? I like where you're going with this. Now, next up, <laughs> see how we've left ourselves some room in here? Yum. That's why you want to follow the directions on this. Mm. Okay. Pizza sauce is delicious. All right, so next up, I've got some ground sausage. Now, this is optional. If you didn't want to put ground sausage in here. I asked for this. That's right. Jody yep. did ask for it. You could put ground turkey in here. It'd be totally acceptable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spread this ground pork all over the top. Georgia, Augusta, right up the road. What's up, hey, Augusta? Augusta. Uh, Indiana, Indianapolis, Oregon. Love it. Thank all you guys for tuning in. And guys, if you know somebody who loves pizza, go ahead and smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. And again, we got new apps going on right now. Uh, Chef Greg just did a, is gonna do a roasted corn guacamole, and Chef John is in the middle of doing we his got uh, apps on brand apps. new apps pizza dip. Apps. That's right. All right, so now that we have the sausage on there, we're gonna have to put a little bit of pepperoni. Let's okay. go. I mean, is it really pizza without pepperoni? No, it's no. not, it, I mean, no, not for me. You know, it's gotta have at least cheese of pepperoni on it for it to be Shoot, pizza. Chef. What size skillet is that? Sorry, Chef John. This is a 12-inch skillet. Good question, Jamie Gill. Thank you, Jamie. What's up? Thank all you guys for tuning in. All right, so we got some pizza. We got some pepperoni, I'm sorry, on here. Yeah, this now, pizza dip. Yeah. Next step is we're going to go ahead and put some more cheese on top of this thing. Okay. Yes, sir. So we saved some of the remaining cheese. Now, what I have left is that mozzarella and provolone. Yum. So we're going to give this a sprinkle. Right? Then I have some cheddar and some, I guess it's white cheddar and yellow cheddar. It's all the cheddars. It's all the cheddars, right? So we're gonna dump this on here. And then I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And guys, it's just that simple. I'm gonna hit the top of it with some Colin's Freaking Greek. And then this is going into that 375 Road Warrior. Now what makes the Rectech better than any other pellet grill, any other gas grill or charcoal grill out there, Chef John? It's, for me, it's gonna be consistency. You're gonna be able to set this thing at a certain temperature, and it's gonna hold Shoot that yep. temperature regardless of what's going on in the element. So that's gonna set us yep. apart from everybody else. All right, Jody, so in we're going, 375. Go in there, baby. I'm gonna steal this gloss jar. How's that look right there? There you go. So hold it's on. gonna take about 30, 45 minutes to get uh, all the way through. All now don't cooked. just throw this away, no. Chef John. No. You can actually not. place this bad boy in your bucket. Right. Your grease is gonna drip into this. You're gonna save your lid. You're gonna throw the lid on top of it and you're gonna throw this away when it gets full. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, everybody. Right. Yep. All right, so back into the guac. Now we did put it into the mortar and pestle because 
it's got to look good, right? We're tailgating, we're having Indeed. fun, we're cooking for the family, okay. maybe we're watching a good game. That's it. We're gonna put it back in there. Now, make sure you give it a taste chip, right? So grab a chip, see what it tastes like. So for me, sometimes the chips are like extra salty and you can kind of tone down the salt with the guac or maybe your chips are unsalted. I made that mistake once. <laughs> and we kind of add a little extra uh, heifer dust in there to bring it over the top. But this is where we kind of combine my favorite things. So we've got that roasted corn off of that bullseye. And you can see that nice, lightly caramelized Ooh, charred looks corn. Looks good, Chef Greg. Smells That's what I'm better. talking about. Let it cool off. We'll take that knife. We're just going to cut it off of the cob. Okay. Yum. And you can kind of go as much or as little on the corn as you want. But for me, when I see the corn kernels kind of stuck together like Yum. that, that tells me it's fresh. Okay. So we're going to take like two of these. And this is going to make enough to feed easily six people or just myself. I'm a huge avocado fan. Now, Chef Greg, are you a fan of grilling all vegetables on the bullseye? Huge fan. Yeah, I love, you know, for me, we eat a lot of meat here at the office, so I don't mind going home and, like, eating a little bit of vegetation action. It was actually a plant-based for almost nine months. There you go. Yeah, yeah you it's a good time. I forgot about so we're going to take that corn, a little more soul powder over the top, Yum. just yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay? Now, we are going to take just a little bit of lime. Okay. Because this is where this whole, like... Why'd you roll it? Get, get the juices out, man. Mm. So we're going to add a little bit more lime. Okay, now this is where we get this whole like guacamole street corn thing going on. Okay. Boom, we got the corn over the top. We'll take a little bit of the uh, crumbling cheese. And we're just kind of do oh, one of these. Yeah, get in there. Over too. the yes, top. Yes, sir. Right? Cheese and crackers. Guys, smash that share button. We'll give you three <laughs> seconds. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. But again, you can take your favorite chips. Mine just happened to be blue corn. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Yes, sir. Take some of those on there, right? Just like that, a little dump ruski. Maybe you want to kind of go this side. Fantastic. Yum. A little <laughs> little white corn chip action. Add a baby. And get them all over the table, making them a big mess. But Jody's going to fix it because he's that kind of guy. You're good, you're good, you're good. So right here, OK? You Ooh. know it's good guac when your chips kind of, you know, yeah. do one of those. Want to come apart. You know it's thick. Yeah. Three C's, baby. Oh, yeah, get in there, Taylor. Maybe look at that guy right ah, My chip there. did it again. <laughs> But guys, don't forget, we're going to be spinning that wheel of rec tech, and we're also going to be giving away an amazing prize. That's right. Woo! Where you put a spoon? How that look, buddy? It's okay. All right. So mine's going to take, like I said, about thirty to forty-five minutes. We really just when you see bubbling coming up around the edge, and the cheese is golden brown, you know that it's done. But I already have one done. You know, I'm not going to make you guys wait too, Thank too you, long. Thank you, Chef John. Yeah, yeah. You know, get I'm on a it. man of the people. All right. While he's doing that, real quick, I've got a little of that soul powder. Yep and our spice grinder. Mm -hmm. This is what these are for. Just finish it, right? A little love over the top, and then as you eat down, right, you can re-season it. Or Shoot you put out. that four letter rub in here, you get that big tub of popcorn, eat a couple layers, Shoot hit it out. again, eat some more popcorn, available at rectech.com. Oh Shoot gosh, yeah. How, good, get on in there, Taylor. Look how good that Shoo looks. Wow. So the only Thank thing we need to do. looks a little like it's toned down just a little bit. Thank yeah, goodness. it's toned down a little bit. We're gonna take some fresh basil leaves, right? That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to take that Rectech Chef Knife, available at Rectech.com. Ooh, that thing looks bad to the bone. It is. So I'm going to shift all these up. So I'm just going to twist them all up till they're in a real tight little ball. I dated a girl named Chef and I in middle school. Oh, really? Yep. She's a nice girl? She was a very nice lady. All oh, right. And we're just going <laughs> to slice these, this uh, basil leaf, fresh basil leaf, real thin. God, now that knife is that. just like sliding through the basil. It really this is, is really cool. Is that knife is so sharp that basil is not going to turn black. Yep. Right? It's going to be nice and fresh. Right. Y'all, dude, that's ridiculous. Ooh. That's that right there. Guys. I think on the one bite app, that's a that's a solid nine three. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Now I before so. we do take that bite, we're gonna go ahead and announce last week's winner and yes. we're gonna spin the wheel of rec tech. Last Let's week we spun it and landed on a shirt Try. of your choice. There you go. All right, last week. And I've actually uh, seen this person out there a lot. Oh I've actually okay. has one before. And just so everybody's clear, this person did everything. This person asked a question, they liked the video and they shared it. Like, so, yeah. really, there was only two or three people that did that. Yeah, you got to do all three. All the so you have to do all three things, everybody, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, but the winner of last week's contest of getting a shirt of their choice, boom, 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 Mr. Kenny Butts. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, hey Kenny! Hey, my man. That's what I'm and talking Kenny's about. And Kenny's question was, when was the first Rectech sold? So, Kenny, Rectech Inception was actually in 2009, and it took a year to sell the very first grill. So, two, 2010 was when we sold our very first grill. That's a great question, though. Absolutely. Yeah, That's very it. deep. 
deep, yeah, deep in there. Deep, we're getting in there. All right, I spun the wheel of rec tech last week. Chef Greg, have, have you been working? Have, yeah, I, I mean, I've been EO, you know what, T or whatever? This, this wheel got like lubricated to do one arm on that. We'll go ahead and make sure it's lubed up. It is. Check it out. This is like a new fancy, new fancy one. It is, it is. I'm make sure it's good for you. We got thermometers, we have hats. B380X. What do you want to give away? You know what? Let's give. Let's try to give away that knife set right here. All okay. right. So, and the gift card instead of fifty bucks, it's going to be two hundred and fifty bucks. Wow. Whoa. There you go. There right. you go. Let's All go. right. So count it down for me, John. Three, two, two one. Spin it. That's going to take about twenty minutes to stop. All you guys have to do is love this video, share this video, maybe comment down below hashtag. Watch this while emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> okay, I love it. And uh, it's a rubbing sauce, sauce bar. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a great price. Worth of savings for you. You get one right of there. each of the rubs and both the original and spicy barbecue sauce. That's right. Yeah, what a great way to kind of celebrate and enhance your cooking experience than with a rubbing sauce yeah. bundle. Now, guys, you're definitely going to want this cool down a little bit. Guys, we go ahead and grab a yet? toast point. I got, some, here I got some it, toast points. This is going to be like frenulum burning. I'm going to yeah. like do like two point. Yeah, like it's going to be, it it's gonna be hot, guys. There you go. The get in, on the get in the See, bottom Jones, of that chair. Okay, trained expert. Yeah, he here. is. Look at this guy. Get in there. Ow! <laughs> don't burn. Don't burn your mouth. Even Should like a layer of like there. sliced meatballs in there. Cheese and crackers. Oh, sliced meatballs. That would have been good. Mm. Yes, yeah, hot. Right. Yeah, it's hot. So Cheers, blow on boys. it. Cheers. Blow on it. Cheers, yep. everybody. Roof mouth and gone. Mm. Ooh. I love the concept of pizza dip. Yeah. Love the concept of pizza dip. Absolutely amazing. The basil Tastes really great. does it. Yeah, basil What flavor of pellets? Mesquite. Huh? Tech, tech mesquite pellets. Greg, what flavor of pellets were you today? The Sorry. exact same ones. Mesquite, mesquite. pellets, yeah. Very mm. cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you mm. purchase select grills or grill bundles right now at rectech.com, mm. you can get up to 250 bucks in an e-gift card. You can get all kinds of cool stuff for that. Um, we want to remind you, uh, sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. Make sure you follow Rectech on all social media. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Mm. Follow Chef Greg at Chef Greg Muller. At Chef John Pinnell, I'm at BBQ DAD Jody, Barbecue Dad Jody on all social media. From everybody here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at, at the RecTech. Rec Man, right, that is right I got to get another cool down, right? guacamole. No, some some so garlic hot. breadsticks. I'm going to get some more of this yeah. guacamole. Yeah. This is, this is slamming too right here.